What happens when a narrative takes the place of reality? The infamous crime happened back in 1970. Dr. Jeffrey McDonald has been charged with the murders of his pregnant wife and their two young daughters. McDonald blamed the crime on a group of hippies. Either Jeffrey McDonald slaughtered his family and then tried to hide that fact. Or there were intruders imitating the Manson family, including a girl with a floppy hat who attempted to kill him and killed his family. The jury was convinced he's in prison. Well, they are innocent people in jail. If somebody kills your daughter and two grandchildren, are you supposed to sit back and do nothing about it? It's got to have been a painful experience for Very you. Very painful. Emotionally, financially. This was a good man who loved his children. Jeff's not the kind of guy who does this. This case had so much publicity. It was on the headlines every day. A best-selling book. The miniseries. The television movie, Fatal Vision. Millions of people saw Jeffrey McDonald killing his family. It solidified people's views about the case. Does it seem strange to you that no one else has confessed? It's not really quite accurate to say that no one has confessed. This was the lady in the floppy hat. She said she was involved in the Jeffrey McDonald murders. You think it is a personal vendetta against you? The easy answer is to jump and say yes. That's the thread you grab and you start pulling on it till you unravel the damn sweater. The mystery is about what happened in that house. Many, many people have gone back over this. Wandering in that wilderness of conflicting evidence of mistakes, of errors. When you think it's over with, the story is just beginning.